Unless you don't think that you're coming under fire by folks who think photos of the contestants dressed in lingerie and posing provocatively are just too risque. Meanwhile, supporters say the photos are just fine. The 2004 Miss USA winner, Shandy Finnessy, is with me now from Los Angeles with her opinion. Good morning to you, Shandy. Good morning, or good night. <laughs> good yeah, sorry, it's the middle of the night for you in LA. We appreciate you getting up so early. All right, so I know that um, you, well, let me just ask you straight up. Uh, these photos, some are saying, too risque, too provocative, uh, look a lot like the cover of Maxim magazine, not really what some people would think was appropriate for a Miss USA contestant. Your thoughts? I think it's completely appropriate because the difference is Miss America and Miss USA. And Miss USA has always been a typical beauty pageant. It's um, sexy. It's fun. It's a woman of today, I feel. She's confident. She's flirty. She knows who she is. Um, and you open up any magazine right now, and that's what you're going to see. And the Miss USA girls are the ones that move out to Hollywood, and those are the ones that get into acting and TV hosting and modeling and things like that. Miss America is the scholarship program. And oftentimes, uh, and you yourself, Gretchen, you are a Miss America. Um, but more often, those girls pursue, um, they become doctors, lawyers, veterinarians, things like that, because it is a scholarship program. Right. So I don't see anything wrong with I it. really appreciate you pointing out the stark differences between the two programs. Uh, the Miss America pageant has a talent category, of course, and uh, also it's the largest scholarship program in the world for women. But be that as it may, why would this be appropriate just because the current magazines of our day are showing photos like this? I'm sure there are a lot of parents out there right now who have small children who are saying to themselves, even though magazines do this, why should everyone just follow the trend? Well, I think that's what keeps Miss USA very relevant. I mean, we are such a huge, we're on NBC and co between NBC and Donald Trump. Unfortunately, Miss America, who hasn't been able to stay with the times, have lost their ratings, lost their advertisement. They no longer have a network they're even on, which is very unfortunate because that was the original pageant that started in 1921. Yeah. Well, I'll jump versus on that comment because I'm not so sure that you're quite accurate on that uh, as we move forward. But let's take a look at what the Miss Universe organization owned by Donald Trump has said about this. We are in the business of beauty and the contestants who compete for the title of Miss USA are not afraid to be sexy. These ladies are the full package, smart, accomplished, relevant, and sexy. Now, I want to take a look also at the statement from Miss America. This is what they're saying. The Miss America organization in, is not in any way associated with the Trump Miss USA pageant. We are a not-for-profit scholarship program, rich in our 90th year history and tradition, and hold ourselves to a higher standard. So let me ask you again, I know that you don't have kids yet, but which depiction do you think is a better role model for our young people today? Well, unfortunately, we have had some negative controversy around Miss USA's in recent years, um, different scandals and things. But I personally feel that Miss USA is because that girl is trained to live in the, the 2010. I mean, she is fun. She's sexy. She's confident. She's relevant. She's tangible. Miss America oftentimes is put up on such a pedestal and lives up to these expectations. I competed at Miss America in 2002. And I remember a lot of the girls were saying, well, I've never even worn a bikini before. And it was like, really? Like, let's, let's be real about this. And Miss USA's, I feel, are very real, very relevant, and current with the times. And that is why the ratings are so high, and that's why we still have a network. And currently, uh, Miss America is in Germany visiting our troops and thanking them for their service. We'll let our audience be the judge on it. Shandy Finnessy, great to have you with us today. Thank you. Thank you.